Well, y'all, just had a double at the first location. At the second location, we only got one trap down here. Uh, there's only one spot where I could really get a pocket in that was going to dispatch them. But got us a nice big ground coon here. Uh, pocket's perfectly fine. It's awesome. Worked out perfect. Okay. Just grab my chain here. Find my grounding lock. He's got it down here at the bottom. Slide it on up. Pull him out of the trap. You guys can see absolutely no foot damage. Perfect catch on that guy. We're just gonna put it right back in here how we had it. You gotta thin the coon out of this crick because it's a really good mink crick. So I want to get as many coon as I can out of here. I can catch the mink. I'm sure there's another one in here, but carp's still in there. A little bit more fish oil. We're good to go on down the road. All right, y'all, down in this big river, got us a nice big floater here. Uh, <clears throat> got another pocket and a beaver set in here. They didn't produce anything, kind of surprised. Uh, normally, normally this system here is pretty good for whacking the coon. I know I caught a bunch out of here last year, but. Got us a nice big 3X coon here. I'll get, get this drowner slid back up here. My bait's still in the hole and everything, so they're still good. He didn't get to it. So I'm over there. Get my trap. He kind of loosened up my chain just a little bit, so I'm gonna go ahead and twist this stake to tighten that back up. Trap reset here. There we go, guys. Another nice big ground coon. That's number four. You guys, got us another floater down here. Uh, I'm really starting to understand why people do this water stuff. Because this is the eighth trap that I've checked. And it's coon number seven. So, yeah, I'm starting to get it now. A little bit kind of crazy but we'll see he's kind of got himself all tangled up down here I don't know if I can tell what he got going on here buddy okay there's my trap counter locks out here he got a little bit of grass tangled up in this drowning lock but we'll get her up don't worry <clears throat> He's got himself all tangled up with this thing. Okay. The trap's caught on my chain is the problem. Okay. No. Somehow he got underneath this chain. I gotta look at this and see how he got tangled up on there. He wrapped it around there multiple times. That's how he drowned himself so quick. Silly guy. But I think we're free now. There. There's my lock. Oh, one more time around. And guys, a lot of people would edit out stuff like this, but I'm going to show you all it just because the realistic of trapping uh, nothing's perfect just gotta tighten my chain, chain drowner back up and there'll be some guys that'll say they're perfect but it's the best part about trapping especially with a pack catch like that you can never perfect it always learning something and he's going over there that's a, probably the smallest one of the day 2x Get some of this grass off my ground in here. I'll kind of mounted up some mud there by my pocket. Just go ahead and empty that baby back out. My trap set. But yeah, that's seven for the day, so we're sitting at 920 now. So we got quite a ways to go, but the trap bedded back in there. Give it some fish oil, a little extra measure, and we're out of here. Hey y'all, we're at one of my 
beaver locations. You can see one of my beaver sets is untouched. I don't know about the other one. Um, I don't see my other trap, but we'll start off first here. We got us a, looks to be a nice muskrat here. We'll get him out of, out of the set. I actually have some competition at this spot for beaver. Well, first time I've ever had competition beaver trapping, but got us a nice muskrat here by the toes. We'll get this trap slid back up here. Nice muskrat. Set him over there in the mud so I can wash him off again. Clean out my pocket. This trap set. Bada boom, bada boom. Right back in there. Um, my fish is still in there. Just hit it with some fish oil. Uh, there's a muskrat. Clean all that mud off of him. Come over. See what we got going on this beaver set here. I can't see. I know one of my sets is empty. I don't. I can't even see a beaver down there. So could have a miss or something. I'm not sure. But I don't see my drowning lock anywhere. It's down at the bottom. Whatever happened is down at the bottom. Yep, we missed. Huh. No toes or nothing. Kind of weird. Uh, I don't. I don't miss many beavers. That's kind of interesting. But get this jug back down there, and I'll show you guys what I got going on. Get my drowner set back in here. Maybe. I don't like that. I remember this spot's really rocky. But I'm going to get this remade and we'll get out of here, guys. It's going to take me a bit. Oh, boy. Hi, guys. This almost watched me fall. Uh, we got... I lost one of my pockets down here. The beaver dammed up the creek and it's up quite a ways uh, since I pre-staked it. So I'm trying to get the beaver out of here at the moment is what I'm trying to do. I see one of my beaver sets is empty right there. Um... See, I got a beaver right here. We got one beaver at least. So that's good. Um, not a huge beaver, two year old beaver. And then come over here. And we got us two nice floater coon. So we'll get these suckers out of the trap and we'll get on down the road. Well, this is kind of interesting. Come down here, my coon's laying here weird and my trap's gone. So someone came down here and stole my trap and left the coon here. Kinda kinda weird. Y'all, uh, looks like my my beaver drowner's gone here. Yep, she's down. I can't see anything floating. So not for sure. But as you guys can see next to me here is a big beaver dam here. It's really deep. Oh, I feel some weight. Oh, there we go. Nice beaver there. By the front foot. Get him pulled out of here real quick. That's beaver number two for the day. Got my glove caught in my own trap. Get him pulled out of here. Yeah, there's a nice, nice mid-40s beaver there. Oh, drowned exactly how I wanted him. Down it. It's really deep down there where I'm sending this drowner to, so I'm not surprised I couldn't see that sucker down there. There we go. Trap reset. Well, trap ain't reset, but the drowner's out there. Um, just kind of built a little pad here in this little cut in the bank. Uh, if you guys can't tell, I went to class there. And in the hour and a half I was in class, it got cold and rainy. So, fed my trap back in there. 
make some big pile here. I need to find myself a stick. There we go. Just take this glob on there, shove it in the bank here. There we go, guys. That's all I'm doing for these beaver. I can get out of this water without slipping and falling. But we'll get this beaver up to the truck and get out of here. This is awesome, guys. Got the first mink of the day right there. That's awesome. Appears to be a nice little female. Uh, nice mink. Looks like she's been caught before. She's missing a foot. It's kind of weird. It ain't from, ain't from me. It's kind of odd. But you can see I got two coon in here that aren't drowned, which doesn't surprise me. It's not deep enough. That's why I'm running these traps right now. Get that reset. Right back there. Looks like I had it. It's just a big river system, guys. But spray that baby with some fish oil and nice mink there. We'll get these coon taken care of and get out of here. All right, y'all. Very next stop after we caught that mink. Coming down here. Oh boy, I don't know how deep it is over here. Okay, it's not that bad. Coming down here. Uh, I had a caster mound set right in here. I don't see my trap. And there appears to be a dark blob floating. So let's just see if we got one of these beavers. Multiple dams in here. Hopefully we got, oh yeah. We got one indeed. Kind of got it tangled up there a little bit. Just barely got him by a toe. Kind of interesting, but nice, nice big beaver. Two toes in the old 85 wasn't letting go. Oh man, got myself now. Go ahead and send this drowner back out to the depth. Oh, for another one. It looks like another beaver came through after this one. Uh, there's tracks all over where I had this here. So. Sorry guys if my jacket's getting in the way, it's just, it's cold. I put my jacket on, I'm a weenie, I know. But, that driven down in there. Set my trap. Found out that one of my gloves now has a hole in it. I'm sure that's my fault. So, turn it like that, just like I had it. On this one, I'm setting the trap horizontally with the levers. Just because the pad that's here, that's what fits it best. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, got a couple couple pocket sets on the other side. I know one of them's empty, but I can't can't see the trap on the other one, so I have to go take a look over there. But for now, we will take beaver number three. If I can find him, he sank out here somewhere. There he is. You can see his big old foot. Come on. There he is, guys. Big old beaver there. Ugh. All right, I'm not going to film me trying to get this beaver out of here. We'll get down the road, guys. You guys see that right there? Got us a nice mink. Uh, brought a chunk of fish down here because it looked like there were no fish left in this hole, and I was right. Uh, sho shove another chunk of fish in there. That one there's a nice buff there, it looks like. He's got my deal all tangled up down here, but get him pulled out here so y'all can take a look at him. It's my first ever double day on mink, guys. That's pretty cool. Um, I don't do much water trapping. This year I'm trying it. Trying it out pretty good. Huh? Might be a female. It is a female, actually. But nice mink nonetheless. We'll definitely take that guy. Uh, second second to last stop of the day for another mink literally what were they two or three stops apart that's just sweet guys whoops i can remember what i'm doing bed that trap right there fish oil this is actually only about two or three miles from where i caught that last one so Pretty cool. We got a coon here that's drowned. Uh, kind of drowned in a weird way, but he's done nonetheless. Let's get pulled out of this trap. Slide it back up here. I have my pocket. Here. The fish is still in there, so we're good. 
I just reached in there and felt it. So. Get that reset right there. Boom. Fish oil. Bam, guys. Got us a nice coon. A nice mink. Oh, awesome. We'll get these boys taken care of and get down the road. All right, y'all. Uh, came down to this creek yesterday. The beavers got it dammed up pretty good, but there's this hard wall, concrete wall, if the camera's going to show that underwater right here. I put a colony there and got us a nice muskrat. I can get him out of here. He's clamped on there pretty good. Come on, buddy. He's really clamped on there. He's a big old rat. Uh, he's really limp, too, actually. If you want me to be honest. There's a muskrat there. Uh, they kind of had a ramp going up there, so I figured there was going to be some in here. I just didn't know if we'd be able to catch them on this hard wall there or not. Got that muskrat there. Oh, my pocket's empty. I got a beaver drowner over here. It's right there. Oh, I can see my trap. It's still good. Wade myself on back over here. Get out of here, guys. Another nice muskrat. Last stop for the day, so we'll go home and get a count. All right, y'all. Ended up coming home today with 23 coon, uh, two muskrats, and two mink. And three beaver, too. Uh, sorry, a lot of species today. But two nice rats there. Two nice mink. This one's pretty big, actually. It's a nice, nice mink there. But, and then two hog beavers and then a smaller little 30 pounder but yeah good day uh 23 coon today puts me at oh boy let's let's do some math 936 so we're narrowing in on a thousand guys anyways i'll see y'all tomorrow